Hey everyone, long time no chat. I am back with a flip through of July in my A6 Hobonichi Avec. I'm so sorry I haven't been filming videos um, lately, flipping through some of my planners and doing journal with me's and plan with me's. Uh, life just happened so I didn't have time to film anymore. Um, but I am back and I'm going to be doing my flip through of July. Um, as you can see, this is probably the first time seeing my Sora check in action actually. Um, this is my brand new cover. If you haven't watched uh, my unboxing, that is on my channel. You guys can go ahead and watch it. I did go ahead and put on my clear cover on cover um, that I purchased in my first, my very, very first Hobonichi order. I had this on my hydrangea initially, um, but because this is a fabric cover, I wanted to preserve it as much as I can, so I just put on this clear cover on cover. I mean, sometimes I guess I can take off this clear cover on cover because I do really like the texture of this fabric, but right now I just want to keep it super, super clean. I also wanted to stick this little um, die cut here. This die cut is from Hello Paper Cat and it is of Kiki's Delivery Service. Um, I do have a couple of things from Hello Paper Cat um, in here and I do have a PR code for 15% off um, as well. So that code is down below in my description box. It is um, Airy15. So I'll just quickly show you, I think I showed you how I set this um, up already in one of my previous videos, um, but I'll just quickly show you guys now because I just really like this setup. I haven't been using the stencil, if I'm honest. Um, if I get a week's book uh, later in September, oh my gosh, you guys, the previews for um, the Hobonichi uh, lineup has already started, so um, I'm, I'm planning on getting a week, so I might switch this one out um, to put in there uh, next year. But I do have like some stickers in the front pocket, in the side pocket as well, um, some date covers in here uh, that I pre-cut. This die cut is from the Powder World that I really like. I think the colors match really, really well. This is from the Inner Peace collection. And at the moment I just have a sticker sheet here. This is from Hello Paper Cat as well. Um, I was using it to decorate, so um, I just left it here because I thought it was cute. Um, I have a paper clip holding open my monthly, and I do also have um, these little bookmarks um, here as well. I do think that these bookmarks are a little bit chunky for me, like, as you can see here, it is definitely um, making my planner a little bit bulky, which is why my cover is um, popping up a little bit, but uh, when I just close it, it closes together, so I don't really mind it. Um, so this is what my monthly looks like. It is basically just a summary of all of my dailies. So I put in some important dates and things that I was doing, just quick journaling notes, and I obviously decorated with a few stickers and washi. I didn't have a specific theme here, but I've been using um, my Hobonichi pen, the Uni Jetstream in the blue color. Usually I use black ink um, for my spreads, but recently, these past couple of months, I wanted to use the blue because um, I've been running out of my black ink and it is not yet time for me to make another purchase on the Hobonichi website, um, which I plan to purchase some refills, so um, yeah, I'm just using the blue for the meantime. Um, this is my cover page. I did a little bit of lettering, added some washi, and this cute little post-it note from Kiki K. Um, the quote that I chose is, if it is difficult, scary, um, and out of your comfort zone, try it anyways. Um, I just really like that quote, and I have a paper clip here, or, sorry, this is not a paper clip. This is a magnetic bookmark from Hello Paper Cat, and it is a Star Cook Coffee one. Um, really, really cute, and I think it just matches this planner really well, so I just kept it open on this page. So this is the beginning of some of my daily pages. As usual, I like using my gray, um, what is this called? Gray, um brush pen. It is the Pentel sign one, and I really like it. I've been using a little bit of my stickers from my shop. All of these circle stickers are from my Etsy shop, Aribea, A-R-I-E-B-E-A, -E -E and I've been using it to decorate a lot lately. I have some date covers and then some of these Korean um, stickers that I also use to decorate. I've been trying to finish up my stash. I also did use some washi as well that I really liked. Um, this month was a little bit busy. I, I tried my best to um, stay really, really healthy and fit this month, uh, which I think worked for the most part. I started, I started working out a lot more this month, uh, which was really nice, and I'm actually seeing a lot of changes. So hopefully this month I can also continue um, doing that as well. 
Um, I went to Muji finally after forever. I did a Muji haul earlier this month, I believe, or sorry, earlier last month. So I got some new pens there, which made me very, very happy. Um, obviously, I did get this new cover last month as well, so I journaled about that. I didn't get to watch too many movies. I did watch um, Again Spirited Away, which I really liked. Um, maybe I should continue watching some of the Ghibli movies because I really, really enjoyed that. I do really like my spreads. I think they're quite simple. I did write a lot this uh, month. As you can see, some of it is just like um, writing. I did a little bit of drawing um, and stuff like that, but nothing too crazy. Sometimes I would add a little bit of decorative washi and stuff like that. Do a little bit of writing. Oh, let me cover that up. My mom actually got a planner last month, so um, I've been giving her a bunch of planner stickers and stuff like that for her to use. I'm very, very excited about that. Um, that was something really good that happened this month. Um, I did a lot of health updates in here. I was really tired this month, but I still managed to do a lot of like workouts and stuff like that. And so far, I think it's really helping me. This is my first time that I am actively doing workouts like three to four times um, a week, which is really nice. And I am seeing results, so that's also um, very good encouragement for me. Um, I did a lot of reading this month as well. I think I read um, a few books that are sort of not out of my comfort zone, but they're just books that I normally wouldn't gravitate towards. Kafka on the Shore being one of them, I just thought it was a very interesting book. Uh, might not be one of my favorites, but it was just a very interesting read, that one. Um, I got a lot of happy mail this month as well. I made some orders on Kiki K that I didn't really um, <laughs> need to do. I was planning out some of my um, uh, Hobonichi orders as well. Although, I don't know why I started, um, I honestly don't know why I started thinking about my Hobonichi order so early. I know that the preview is going on right now and I'm obviously already thinking about making changes to that plan before. So I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. <laughs> I'm just so, I always get caught up in these like previews and stuff. I think it's really, really exciting. Oh, got some really nice washi here. Got some happy mail from One Ton in a Million that I decided to test out on here. And it's just like, it's so adorable. I love the pink. And that is it for my flip through. I will be filming a August plan with me or journal with me um, soon. Um, be sure to come back to my channel to see that. I'm hoping to do a lot more painting and stuff like that because I really missed it. I planned on doing it last month, but it didn't um, end up working out for me. Uh, but that is all that I have in here. I already did some brush lettering and stuff like that to catch up on some days. So that is it. Um, I'm done with my flip through. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. So far, I've just really been enjoying journaling again. I'm totally getting sucked into the Hobonichi previews and stuff like that. And I'm look looking on Amazon Japan <laughs> for like other stationery and pens that I don't need. It's always around this time of year that I always want to buy a bunch of stationery for some reason. But I am very happy with what I have now, including this like beautiful cover. I'm so happy with this purchase. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that video. I will be back with a lot more soon. Bye!